This is how passwords are cracked. Passwords are not saved as plain text. Any website at present age uses hashing algorithm to encrypt and manage passwords. There are many types of hashing algorithms like MD5, MD6 and so on. For example, consider a Facebook account. You are asked to fill a form as this which contain your name, your email id and you need to choose a password, birthday and gender and then click on sign up. So how it is saved? Let's see. Once you click on sign up, this data is sent to Facebook database and in Facebook database your name, gender, age, email id is saved as it is. But what about your password? Your password is never saved as a plain text in any of the website. This password is given as input to a hashing algorithm. The output given by the hashing algorithm is the encrypted form of the password which appear to be random but it's not. This hashing password is saved in the Facebook database but not as the plain text. Instead, a encrypted or hashed password is saved in the Facebook database. Now, suppose Facebook had a data breach, hacker managed to get access to user information which includes your name, gender, age, email id and encrypted password. Though hacker have this information, they are not able to log in into the specific user account because password is encrypted. If we try to log in with hashed password, he will not be provided access to that specific account. He only need to enter the password which is in plain text. So what do the hacker do now? The only possible way is to reverse the hash into a plain text but this is highly impossible. So plain text cannot be obtained by hash itself. This is how hashing algorithms are designed. So what now? This is where strength of password comes into play. If you are using common passwords like test123456 which I used earlier to sign up then the hacker will easily able to know the plain text form of your password from the is something known as rainbow table. These rainbow tables contain password hashes of numerously commonly used passwords along with their plain text formats. So the hacker will be able to do a simple search hash if it exists in rainbow table or not. If exist, we have the password plain text format. Remember that rainbow table contain commonly used passwords. You can try yourself at crackerstation.net. But what if it is not a commonly used password? In that case, rainbow table is of no use. So then comes dictionary attack and brute force attack into picture. Both are quite similar. In dictionary attack, you have a word list. It is nothing but a huge files having lot of passwords. In this attack, hacker writes a code which compares the password to be cracked with password hash of each and every password that exists in the word list. If any hash is matched, then it means the password is cracked successfully and we now have the plain text of the password. This attack can be target specific, which means you can create your own word text file. For example, you know the basic details about the victim and assuming that he or she used his basic details to frame the password. This may be successful or a failure based upon the word file quality. In a brute force attack, each and every combination of letters, symbols and numbers are converted into their hash forms and then compared with password hash which is to be cracked. In another words, you are taking each and every possible password, converting it into its hash and cross-checking if there are similar or not. It takes lot of years to crack a strong password. However, the processing speed is fast enough for the new generation computers. Simple passwords can be cracked easily by using these methods. Here is a new technique called salting, introduced by security agencies to protect the password. A specific combinations of characters are inserted at specific positions of the plain text password before hashing. 
Each and every company have their own salting algorithms and they keep them secure and safe. For example, let us consider some company using salting algorithm to insert a string f ampersand 2p at the beginning after fourth character and at the end of the plain text password. After salting, the password salted password is hashed by a hashing algorithm. When salting algorithm is used, rainbow tables are of no use. Even the password is a weak and a commonly used one because the hash of password without salting do not match the hash of password with salted password. Also brute force attack and dictionary attack are not efficient to crack salted passwords unless hacker knows the salting pattern of the certain company. I hope everyone of you understood how passwords are cracked. Thank you for watching.